because it's a live edge, it makes it a little harder to set because this edge is not straight. It curves in and out. This is my widest point, so that was my 17. Where the seats are, here and here, it moves back a little bit. So I moved the seats back about a half inch because it's 17 inches to the bottom edge, which is down here. So here we go. We'll load the file and run it. All right, I'm just getting the file from the USB. It's called 17 by 48, two, two seats. And as you saw, I use a quarter inch bit. This is gonna be ran, it took three hours to carve this whole thing. As you can see, I've sped it up quite a bit, so you won't be sitting here for the next three hours or you wouldn't be around. So I've got that sped up for you. The real time cut is in the little window that just popped open. That shows you the actual speed. And the speed is three, 100 feet per minute, or yeah, yeah, 100 feet per minute, or 100 inches per minute. That's what it is, my bad. So it's 100 inches per minute, and it's cutting a depth of 0.14. So if you look at it, you can see that's what it was doing. It takes three passes for each cut to get down to 0.4. So it's 0.4 inches that I'm carving away. That 0.4 oh, is spread from one end to the other. So the center, if you put a board across that and measure down to the bottom of that cut, it's 0.4 inches. And it's uniform all the way across. That's what I like about this versus using a saw. It's a smooth curve that goes from one end back up to the other end, as you can see. Uh, that's the, a real-time version there, the final cut of this one because I wanted you to notice in the upper left corner you see that I'm actually starting to sand this one because I know where that CNC is going to be. I'm not in its workspace. It's going to be working right there. And so I took the opportunity to, to sand the other one which I'll show you so shortly. And then I'll show you sanding this one so you can see it. Now it's going to its zero position which is out in the middle there. So I have got out of its way because I noticed that it's coming. I shut off my bit and I'll move this out of the way so I can sand it and you'll see. Here we All go. Right, it's done. Um, as you can see, there's two. Let me zoom out. Not in. There. You can see there's two. Uh, this one I've sanded. I sanded it while it's finishing off the other one. This one I'll sand in front of you here, so it'll probably be speeded up later, but um, it's now 301. So I'll sand it. And then we'll, I'll tell you the time and then I'll speed it up. So let's take a look. You can see this one. You can feel it, which you can't. This isn't feel a vision or smell a vision. It's just television. Right there, there's still an edge left. So I have that. It's rounded, but it's over here. If you notice, it's gone. So I've got a little more work to do on this side. I've taken care of it on that side. It's also gone. Let me pause this for a second. Okay, so you can see it. It's going to be a pretty bench, and it will have two places for two seats. This one has to be sanded and finished yet too, but uh, not much finishing left to do after the CNC gets done. Plus, the contour is, is great. It's a continuous radius from one side to the other, versus when you use table saw to do it. It cuts down sharp, depending on the radius, and then it's flat, and then it comes up sharp. But this is a continuous contour, which I like a lot better. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. You can see the carving. It's uh, drying right now. I have to glue. I'm going to clamp and glue because there's a couple cracks on here I'm going to try to get rid of. And then I'll put the leg on it. But you can see it. Mm, pretty good. It looks good.
didn't take that much more sanding and I've got a, a coat to rub on polyurethane mixed with uh, oil, tongue oil, so it's a good start.